गाइज वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ कोडिंग और टुडे वी हैव विद द प्रॉब्लम दैट इज कॉल्ड विगल सब सीक्वेंस सो वी आर गिवन एन इंटीजर अरे नाम सो हैव टू रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट विगल सीक्वेंस एंड अ विगल सीक्वेंस इज अ सीक्वेंस वेयर द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन सक्सेसिव नंबर्स स्ट्रिक्टली ऑल्टरनेट बिटवीन पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव सो लेट्स ट्राई टू टेक एन एग्जांपल सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल दैट दे हैव गिवन टू इट सो लेट्स सी इज दिस अ विगल सीक्वेंस और नॉट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू analyze okay so let's see 1 and 7 so between 1 and 7 what we have is 7 minus 1 is 6 there's a positive difference okay that means this is a increasing wiggle sequence now let's go to the next part so now we have 4 and 7 4 minus 7 is minus 3 so this is a decreasing wiggle sequence so after increasing we have a decreasing sequence that is what we want we want alternating regions of increasing and decreasing sequences let's go to next example 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 is 5 5 is again a positive number it's greater than 0 again you have a increasing sequence okay so increasing decreasing increasing that's what we want we want just alternating regions let's go to next 2 minus 9 is minus 7 so we have a decreasing block so let me mark it with a decreasing symbol so then let's go to 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 is 3 so again we have a positive block so what do you do you have alternate regions of uh, of increasing and decreasing sequences so okay so this is a perfectly uh, wiggle sequence this is an example of a perfect wiggle sequence okay what uh, this represents is okay let's just take a analogy and suppose you have a jigsaw puzzle right and you have blocks of jigsaw puzzle and you just are trying to fit the block so a positive block at the end to that okay at the end to that you can only match a negative block okay, let me try to draw another shape so that you know it is better understanding so let's say this is a positive block this is a negative block after the positive block only a negative block will fit okay and similarly let me try to draw another uh, you know piece here let's say um so after a negative block only a positive block will fit so then i will have to modify my positive block here also okay let me modify it here so a positive block can only fit with a negative block and let me draw a positive block properly here okay suppose this is my positive block piece and this is my negative block piece now what you do is after this piece okay suppose after this positive block piece you try to fit another positive block piece will it fit it will not fit right because a positive block piece is something like this so a positive and a positive block piece will not fit together right after this to fit this and complete this jigsaw puzzle you will need to have a negative block piece only right so arrow pointing upwards arrow pointing downwards so that's why let's consider a positive block after a positive block piece you need to have only a negative block piece you cannot have two positive blocks together or two negative blocks together okay so, so let's say this is a negative block let's say after this if you try to fit a negative block will it fit a negative block is in this shape right so if you try to fit it won't fit so what will fit here after a negative block you just have to fit a positive block you don't have any other choice so only positive and all uh, negative blocks fit and this is a alternate uh, in alternate regions right so uh, this is very important to understand so uh, let's take example of this array and now let's actually move to the logic of the code so what we do is okay we check if the first block is a positive block or a negative block if it is increasing or decreasing 7 minus 1 is 6 okay so we will declare a variable and let me call it previous difference previous difference and let me uh enter the value of the difference so previous difference is 7 minus 1 6 okay let me store the 6 here and uh, let me declare a variable count which counts the length of the wiggle sequence and this is what i'm going to return at last so now initially okay suppose consider i have only 1 and 7 so how many points do i have i have 1 i have 7 right both are part of the wiggle sequence so my count is initially 2 okay now see count would have been 2 in other cases also what other cases suppose i had first number as 10 next number as 3 then also this would have been a wiggle sequence it would have been just a decreasing block wiggle sequence but again it would have been a wiggle sequence and uh, you would have had count as 2 but suppose you had both numbers same okay suppose in place of 10 and 3 you had something like 10 and 10 then count would have been 1 initially because this is not a wiggle sequence wiggle sequence for it to be a wiggle sequence it should be increasing decreasing increasing decreasing and so on both are same this is not allowed so then count would have been one because suppose you have points 10 and 10 you can just remove one point 
So you are left with only one point. Okay, you are left with just one ten. That is a wiggle sequence. One is also wiggle sequence. I mean, one number is also wiggle sequence with count one. Okay, so now count is two because in our example we have the first block between uh, one and seven. We have seen that we have a increasing block. Okay, now let's go to the next block. So now we start iterating over the array. Now what we do? We compare uh, the next. Okay, so next we have two minus seven. Two minus seven is equal to minus five. Right, so let me store this difference in an in another uh, you know variable. So I had already declared previous difference. Now let me store the variable in a variable. Uh, let me call it current difference. So current difference. Okay, and let me uh, store the value of the current difference. So what is current difference? Current difference is just two. Um, uh, current difference is two minus seven. Two minus seven is minus five. So that is current difference. Why did I do this? Now see, why do I need current difference and previous difference? See, now this is a decreasing block. Okay, after a uh, increasing block, a decreasing block will only fit. So how do I compare that? My current difference is negative and my previous difference is positive. What does that mean? That means previously I had a Increasing block. I had a positive block. Now I have a, a current difference which is negative. Means now I have a negative block. I have blocks that exactly fit in my jigsaw puzzle, right? So these blocks are very good. So what I do? I got just one more element. So now I make count equal to three. Okay. So after increasing, I needed a decreasing block to complete my wiggle sequence, and that is what I got. So I increased increase the count. Two is also added in the wiggle sequence. First, it consists of only one and seven. Now two is also a part of the wiggle sequence. Now, uh, what becomes to previous difference? So, before going to the next iteration, we change the previous difference equal to current difference. So, it just takes the value of minus five. Okay. Now, let's go to the current iteration. Next iteration. So, next iteration, we have two and nine. What is nine minus two? Nine minus two is equal to seven. So, what we do? We make the current difference as seven. This is the current difference. Difference between the two elements that we are con currently considering. Now, current difference is seven. It's a positive difference. Previous difference is negative, so this is also very good. That means previously we had a decreasing block. Now we have a increasing block, right? So this is what we want. After a decreasing block, we want an increasing block. So since current difference and previous difference are of opposite signs, what we do? We increment count. So we increment count to four. And now before going to the next iteration, we change the previous difference equal to current difference. So previous difference becomes seven. Now we go to the next iteration. Next iteration we have nine and six. What is six minus nine? Six minus nine is nothing but minus three. Six minus nine is minus three. So I change the current difference to minus three. Again, let me see. Current difference is negative. Previous difference is positive. So I have a I had a positive block before. Now I have a negative block. So these are very good. This is what I want. My jigsaw puzzle fits perfectly. So my count becomes equal to five. Before going to the next iteration, I change my previous difference equal to Current difference. Okay, now I go to the next iteration. Next iteration, I need to compare four and six. What is four minus six minus two? Okay, now it becomes interesting. Why it becomes interesting? Because I have both current difference and previous difference of the same sign. That means previously also I had a decreasing block. Again, I have a decreasing block, right? Because both are of negative sign. Both the differences are negative. I don't want this. This piece doesn't fit my jigsaw puzzle. I don't like this. I don't want this. So I don't increment my count. My um, You know, sequence wiggle sequence doesn't get any new element, right? So what I do, I let the count remain as such, okay, and I let the previous difference also remain as such. So it's like I'm just ignoring this block. I don't want. I throw away the block. I don't use this block, okay? Now I go to the next uh, quantity, right? So now when I go to the next quantity, I have four and one. So what is one minus four? One minus four is again equal to minus three. So now what I have, I have. Current difference equal to minus three. So now my current difference and my previous difference are again of the same sign. Okay, I don't want this. Again, I have a decreasing block, right? So you can see nine, then six, then four, then one. You have con consecutive three uh, decreasing blocks. So what happens is, uh, you know, this jigsaw puzzle will fit perfectly only if you are increasing and decreasing blocks, right? So two decreasing blocks won't fit perfectly. So we don't like this also. So we just let the Current remain as such, previous difference remain as such, and we just go. We just ignore this block. We don't want it. It's a useless point. It doesn't add any length to the wiggle sequence. Let's go to the next block. What is uh, difference between twelve and one? Twelve minus one. So we should take twelve minus one, which is eleven. So now we have what we wanted. So finally, we waited with patience, and we got what we wanted. Current difference is positive. Previous difference is negative. So what does that mean? You have. A uh, increasing block. Finally, you were waiting for it for so long, right? So now you uh, increment your count. So 
you increment count and what uh, does previous difference pick up now previous difference changes to 11 before going to the next iteration okay so let's go to the next example now you have 12 and 12 so what is 12 minus 12 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 right so does this add to the wiggle sequence let's see so what is current difference current difference is equal to 0 but what is previous difference previous difference is equal to 11 does this point add no it doesn't add right we have already seen constant points uh, you know they they uh, we need alternate increasing and decreasing points we don't need any point which is constant right this block also doesn't fit we don't want a uh, block which is having constant sequence so what happens is uh, we don't want this so our current difference should be either positive and previous difference should be negative at the same time or current difference should be negative and previous difference should be positive for count to increment otherwise count doesn't increment okay so we let it remain as such and uh, what we do is we just go to the next iteration so in the next iteration we have 8 and 12 so what is 8 minus 12 8 minus 12 is minus 4 so i change my current difference to minus 4 now finally i have a increasing block and a decreasing block in consecutive and the current block is decreasing because my current difference is negative previous difference is positive so i increment my count i make my count equal to 7 and finally i change my previous difference to uh, current difference before going to the next iteration right so now finally i have count equal to 7 and now i have ended my iterations right so this is my uh, length of the maximum wiggle sequence that i have so i have seven blocks which can be arranged in line which are giving me increasing decreasing increasing decreasing sequences right so what are those blocks first we had one then we had seven right so first we had one then we had so one block then we had seven so this gave us an increasing sequence then we had um, two which gave us a decreasing sequence then we had nine which gave us an increasing sequence okay after that we had four points now in this four points right okay now let's look at this carefully now see uh, these three points after nine are all decreasing so you know we can uh, so we we if we didn't have six and four also right they are actually useless points then finally 9 and uh, 9 and 1 will give us a decreasing block right so let's consider this as the fifth block and now uh, after 1 we have 12 so again we have a decree uh, we have an increasing uh, sequence now between 1 and 12 right after that 12 and 12 again it's a useless block it gives a constant uh, value which we don't want then next after so we if we didn't have this 12 also it is okay so now we go to uh, it's it was not adding to the wiggle sequence now we go to the next point so 8 8 is giving us a uh, decreasing block again which we needed after uh, 12 right so now we have increasing decreasing increasing decreasing increasing decreasing blocks and there are totally seven so we have to finally return seven okay now let's just code this so once we have understood the logic coding should be fine so what we do i will first change it to c plus plus now what i do is i uh, declare two variables right so i firstly let me just declare int previous difference okay and what is previous difference i am just initially taking it as nums of uh, one minus nums of zero now what happens if uh, nums uh, of one doesn't exist i mean what if the size of the array is less okay so what we do is if nums dot size is uh, equal to one then you can just return one even one is a uh, you know wiggle sequence of length one if you have just one element okay otherwise what we do is we declare previous differences is this now if previous difference is okay if previous difference let me uh, you know write count okay int count is equal to now if previous difference does not equal to zero that means if uh, nums of one and nums of zero are not same both are not constant numbers okay like we had seen the example suppose if both had been 10 and 10 if nums of 0 and nums of 1 had been 10 then uh, it would have been just one additional block added and not giving any extra wiggle sequence so one would have been a useless block it would have just been like you have a wiggle sequence of length one only so if previous difference is not equal to zero if you have two different numbers nums of one is different from nums of zero okay then in that case count will be two otherwise count will be one so if you have two same numbers it will just be a wiggle sequence of length one initially if you have two different numbers either increasing or decreasing order it doesn't matter so even this you get count equal to 2 so we have seen this all already in the logic of the code now let's go forward to iterating so for int i equal to from where do we start we have already started nums of 1 minus nums of 0 what should be next nums of 2 minus nums of 1 so what we start i equal to 2 i uh, less than nums dot size i plus plus right 
so what we do we store current difference int current difference is equal to nums of i minus nums of i minus 1 so what we get nums of 2 minus nums of 1 right now what we do is we compare so what do we compare if current difference okay so if current difference is let's say positive okay suppose a current difference is positive then we want the previous block to be of opposite sign okay if current difference is uh, positive okay and we have previous difference okay if we have a previous difference less than equal to zero right so if we have that or uh, let's say we have current difference uh, negative and we have uh, the previous difference of opposite sign and previous difference is greater than equal to zero okay so if we have uh, this case then what we have to do we have to just do two things what is the first thing we have to increment count right these are so many examples so we have to just increment count and what we have to do one more thing important thing we have to change the previous difference for the next iteration before moving to the before moving to the next iteration we have to make previous difference equal to current difference okay so that's it and finally what you can do is you can return count so i hope that this should work let me just run the code and see if it's working previous difference is undeclared so i have not given up not given that symbol there I hope it is fine now so it's working let's just submit and see if it's working for all the test cases so it's an accepted solution that's it thank you for being patient